Hello mates, I want to show you my new plugin called Exec Preset Mate. It saves the master levels and running use or off state of the specified executors to preset macros, so that you can return to the safe state at any time. When shooting music concerts and broadcasts on TV, you often need to have different groups of key light on separate sequence executors and group masters in order to be able to add or decrease the intensity of life at any time. But for every different musical number you will need a different preset of these masters. Also, when touring a show on different venues, you may have fixtures that differ from those that you have programmed. You may need to limit the intensity in part of the show, while in another part you will want to use them at full. But in this case you need to save the necessary levels and put the feathers in the right position for different parts of the show. Even working in theater, you may need a macro that fades in the executor with blue lights behind the stage and 40 and turns off other unnecessary execs at the beginning of the performance. Previously we manually wrote these multi-line macro presets for executors, I call them exec presets, and linked them to the necessary queue and it took a lot of time, especially on TV shoots. Now there is a plugin that will do this job for us. You can create complete timed presets for dozens of executors in a couple of seconds and optionally link them to the specified queue. Let's take a closer look at this plugin and its options. First, for the plugin to work, you need to create a dummy channel in the patch that is not used on your execs. By default the plugin uses the channel number 5 nines, but you can change this number in the plugin settings. The fixture can be a dimmer or any type with intensity. There is no need to patch it. Now launch the plugin and specify the executors that you want to store to an exec preset. Use the usual MS syntax, but don't use quotes. So I can enter T for true to save all the executors on the page or 1.fs asterisk for all full spot executors plus 1.1 plus 1.5. Also to avoid typing the same thing every time, you can make a macro like this. So I need to store all execs on page 1, except those whose label begins with song and except for the executor present. Let's run it. The plugin collects the data and asks for the macro number to create. By default the first free slot after the one specified in the settings is offered. If you specify an existing macro it will be overwritten, but the name is retained. Then you are asked to attach the resultant macro to the key of your choice. By default the selected executor is offered, but you can choose a different one by entering it. When the desired executor is selected, enter the queue number and if everything is correct, the plugin will show the executor and queue numbers. Confirm by pressing please or discard linking by closing the window or pressing escape. This message is shown if the plugin is configured to save the executors by label, but these two have the same label so they are saved by number so that the macro is always safe and runs the correct executors. Here is the resulting exact preset macro. Each line here is a comment that return every executor to the safe state. Let's look at the comments and what can be changed in them using the plugin settings. You can change the plugin settings by editing it. So if you don't want to save the master levels, that is to get this part of comments, disable this setting. It's worth saying that uh, what is saved and recalled is the level of the intensity master, while you can have another function assigned to the exact fader. On the contrary, if you want to save only the levels without the current queue, disable this setting. Next is default fade time. It's used to fade all intensities. However, we have this option turned on, fade sequence masters with its queue timing, and the masters of sequence executors will fade using their own time of the current queue. Next, if you need to return the queue status with the specified default fade time, turn this on. The same for off time. Here the executor is saved in the off state, and since this option is enabled when you run the macro, it will turn off the exec using your default time. In addition, you can also set the master level of turned off executors to zero, regardless of their position during story. So if we enable this option, the macro line for this executor will look like this. The following options allow you to save executors by label, not by number. So if you move them to other places, it will not affect the execution of the macro. When storing, the plugin will make sure that you don't have other executors with the same label and the command will affect only a certain exec. Then the macro can be linked to the specified queue. The plugin can also use the fade time of this queue as a default time, 
so you can configure the plugin so that the whole exact preset will fade simultaneously with this queue. And the last options, they are not so important and I hope they are obvious from their names and descriptions. No special conditions are required for the plugin to work. Countmaster can be at zero and you can have program time enabled. In this case it will be disabled during data collection and then returned back. The process of saving doesn't affect the output and your programmer values. So that's it. The link to my small plugin store is in the description. Good luck and stay safe.